What is going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. This is going to be a quick guide about pretty much all of my numbers that I have accumulated over all of my testing, all built into one video to try to make it as easy as possible for you. Um, before we do start, if you are new to the channel, please welcome to the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button down below. For all the people who are not new, I just want to thank you so much for getting us to 1k subs. That has been an unbelievable mark that I didn't think I'd get to, especially this quickly. A uh, big thank out to, obviously, early 1981, Alan, and uh, many other people as well. But uh, let's get on to the video. So everything I'm going to cover in this video has its own separate video. If you are looking for like the more in-depth analysis of on how I became, how I came across these numbers, so you can definitely just go through my videos and uh, check out whether or not you want the more individualistic ones, so that way you can know the exact numbers. But if not, I'm going to put down the entire numbers here on the screen, and uh, we're going to go through it. I'm going to play a couple shots, play a couple holes, and uh, cut the videos up, and just pretty much just talk about how I play these shots. The only thing that will drastically change your numbers on how far the ball will go will be your fast or slow swings. So it will go a little bit faster or a little bit slower depending on that situation. But So you first got to analyze multiple things. So first, this shot is 90, 95 yards. So 95 yards, you got to find a club somewhere within 95. Elevation plays one yard every three feet. So if it is up three feet, it is one extra yard. If it is down three feet, it is down one yard. Wind plays one yard per one mile per hour in all directions. The situation we have here is a 95 yard shot. It is playing one foot up, which means that it is playing less than one yard up. So this is pretty much a very flat shot. Now let's go to the next thing, which is the wind. So seven miles per hour means seven yards but this is a southwest wind which is going directly to the left so this is going to play seven yards going left of the flag it is slightly towards our face a little bit so it might it might play one yard into our face but it is pretty much going to play seven yards directly left so we're going to want to aim a little bit right of target so that carries elevation that carries the wind now the last thing you have to do is consider the lie. The lie is yellow. So if you account for yellow, it is about five yards to whatever direction it's going. So it's a consistent five yards to the right, which means that it will pretty much be taking away from the wind. I know this is a lot of math, but once you get in a rhythm of it and you start doing it, it'll work a lot easier. So we're going to just take away the lie. So we're going to say five yards up to the right, but the wind is going eight yards to the left. So we're going to say three yards to the left, and the one foot up is pretty much nothing. I'm going to play this just behind the hole because that's where I want it to be. So 97 is a good number for me, and I'm going to aim it just right of the flag for that three yards. little fast so it's going to carry a little bit longer than normal on, sit down for us. We landed 100 yards so we landed three yards over our number all right so we're going to analyze this shot right here this shot is four feet up which is just a little bit over one yard and we are going into a seven with a seven mile an hour wind at our back so you take that one yard up in elevation take it off of the wind so six yards at our back which means we're going to, if we hit this shot right now, we would hit 182 yards carry. Because we added the 6 to the 176 that our shot is currently. We don't want to obviously carry the flag because it has to roll out. So what you're going to want to do in this situation is pull it back to 166. We're going to count now at 6 miles an hour. It's a little bit changing still playing one foot up so it's five miles an hour which would land it at 171 which is going to be just front of this green all right that's a much better situation for us this is obviously a very tight hole but we're going to give it a try lie off the tee box is flat as always so let's see how far we carry 171 
172 it carried. Obviously, I'm not here for this situation. I would have flighted it a little bit differently. But what I'm trying to do here is show you guys the numbers that you need to be hitting so that way you can consistently know how far you'd want to hit. In that situation, there is also another video where you can gap it by flighting the ball up or down to get the ball to carry a little bit further. All right, so we have, once again, we have a 95-yard shot up six feet, which means two yards up. So it's actually playing 97 yards, which is perfect for the number we need. We are going into a southwest wind, which is just about two to three yards into our face. So it's actually, the shot is actually probably playing like 99 to 100 yards because we're adding that on top of it. And now we have to aim to the right about, I would say, six yards because the wind is going towards the left. Now we check the lie. The lie is very flat. So we're going to aim six yards out to the right just about a box and a half and we are looking to hit this number just below the hole so it's gonna land 95 into the wind about four more it's gonna land 91 yards a little fast might land a little bit further 92 yards we landed so obviously like I said, right now, I'm not worried about knocking it in the hole or flying it to the hole. Right now, I'm just trying to prove to you guys what the numbers are and how you can hit your numbers consistently. Because that's going to be the most important thing. Alright, we'll do this last one. This is a good last one. So, up one foot, so it's pretty flat. Don't have to worry too much about that. We have 7 miles an hour at our backs. So... At our backs, that means that this ball is going to fly 116. Go back to our lie. We have a green, so it's just about two, two yards of a lie. But the wind will counteract that because it's not a perfect north wind. It's pretty much slightly off to about like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. So if I wanted this to bounce and roll up, 7 miles plus the 119, so 126, will fly to the pin. We are trying to dunk it here. So let's try to just dunk it. So let's check the number. This could be good. 125 it landed. All right? So these are the numbers you're looking for when you're trying to hit closer. Elevation, just remember. 3 feet, 1 yard. Miles per hour wind, 1 mile per hour for every 1 yard. Elevation, just put out a new video. Really depends on the color, but you can kind of figure it out that way. Calculate it, and you'll be good to go. You'll be hitting much closer. And I uh, hope these are some prime examples to prove that the numbers that I have come out with are very accurate, and you just have to calculate it quickly. But once you do it a few times, you'll get in a rhythm. Just thank you once again for watching this video, and um, I hope this helps. If this doesn't help or you have any questions about how I mathematically break this down, Please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help out. Um, if not, I'll catch you guys next time.